Sometimes you want to highlight something that's happening on screen and you want to zoom to do that. So in today's video, I've got three ways to do that in DaVinci Resolve 20. Welcome back to Creator Reality, my friend. I'm John, and I'm going to show you what I'm talking about. Let's get into DaVinci Resolve. Here I've got two clips in a timeline. We'll get back to this one in a second, but the one I want to concentrate on is this second clip. We want to zoom in, and there's a built-in way to do this called dynamic zoom in DaVinci Resolve. If we click on our clip and we come to the inspector, if you don't see it, click on inspector. It's right there. We can go in the video tab and scroll down a little bit. You'll see dynamic zoom. We can turn it on and it has a dynamic zoom ease of linear, ease in, ease out, ease in and out. You're gonna to wanna to use ease in and out. It just looks a little nicer than linear. You can also swap it here. We'll get back to that in just a second. Let me show you how to use this feature. Over here, we've got this little grayed out icon. And if you hover over it, it says dynamic zoom because that's what I previously selected. But we have transform, crop, dynamic zoom, and a bunch of other stuff. We're gonna concentrate on this dynamic zoom. When you click on that menu selection, it highlights it or it turns it on rather. If you click on the icon, it'll turn it off and on. You'll notice that we now have a red box and a green box. The green box is where you're gonna zoom at the start of the clip, and this red outline is where you're gonna be zoomed to at the end of the clip. And if I use my middle mouse wheel and scroll out, you can see that red box a little more clearly. It's right there, I'll press Z to zoom to fit. Here's where the swap comes in handy. If I click on swap, you'll notice that the green and red boxes have swapped places. So I'll swap them back, and then we're gonna play this clip back real quick. You'll see what I'm talking about. It's gonna zoom out slowly and it's doing the ease in and out. So it's gonna speed up and then it's gonna slow back down as we end the clip. Now, if I come back to the start of it, make sure it's selected, click swap, then it's gonna zoom in. So you'll notice it's doing the eased zoom in and out. That's a pretty cool effect, right? But we can adjust it, we can tweak it. We can adjust our green box here by dragging one of the corners or by just dragging inside of it to move it. So we can zoom from this corner over to there. If I click play, it's gonna move and zoom in at the same time. Conversely, if I click on swap, now I'm adjusting the inner box. We can grab a different corner this time and really bring it right up in there and then click swap to come back. And when I start this playback, it's gonna zoom way in this time. A lot more zooming and some more movement. And there we have it, right? Well, that's pretty good, but what if you want to freeze frame halfway through or two thirds of the way through? You're going to want to custom zoom. Let's do that next. So on the next clip with it selected, dynamic zoom is still selected, but it's not enabled over here. So we'll turn it off, less confusion that way. We're going to scroll all the way to the top to transform. And we're going to start with a keyframe. We'll click on this icon right here. It turns all of them red. It's fine. We probably only needed to click one, but just go with me on this one. It's just makes it easier. And then about two thirds of the way through, I'm looking straight at the camera. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna create another keyframe here, but I don't have to click on the icon. I can just zoom in however far I need to zoom in and I can adjust the X and Y of the position. And if you need finer control, hold your shift key and you'll notice that now it's moving a lot slower as I scroll with my mouse wheel. Control Z to undo. That's where, about where I wanna be. And if I play that back, it's just a linear zoom in. So we wanna fix that. We wanna make it nice and easy, right? Nice ease in and out. So moving back to the start of our clip, we can come back into our inspector and right click on one of the values we changed and you'll see it's got linear and ease out. But there's a better way. Again, we're gonna use the keyframe editor that I've talked about in other videos. So with my clip selected, I'm gonna come up and click keyframes and then it shows us all the parameters that have been adjusted or can be adjusted, shows our keyframes over here. And I'm gonna click on this icon to show me the keyframe spline editor. I'm gonna click in blank space, hold control, press A, that selects all of them. I'm gonna come up here and by default, this will be set to linear, but since I've been tinkering around and DaVinci Resolve remembers the last thing I selected, it has selected ease in and out already. I click on it and you see it's got that smooth transition, right? So now when I play this back, it's gonna do a nice ease in and ease out. And then what I can do is actually come up here and click on the left arrow to go back to my last keyframe. I can right click on my clip, change clip speed, select freeze frame and voila. 
watch this now. It's going to zoom in the same way it did before, but when it gets to that freeze frame point, boom, it freeze framed on it. So in the case of Frank, one old man riding who asked about this, he wanted to zoom in on somebody's eyes while he was cracking a joke. And now, Frank, you can do that. And anybody else watching, you also have the knowledge to do that. Now, there's one more clip that I showed at the beginning, and we're gonna do a fake dolly zoom on that. If you're not sure what a dolly zoom is, uh, it's basically where the camera is moving and the subject is moving and it makes things look kind of wonky and neat. So anyway, it's the best way I know to explain it. I'm sure somebody in the comments will correct me if I'm wrong, but we're going to go back to the start of this clip. And the first thing we need to do is make that movement a little bit more apparent. So I've right clicked on it. I'm going to select change clip speed. I'm going to bump it up to about 300%. If you go to five or 700%, if you've got the same clip that's running for quite a while, you might get a better effect out of this. But then I'm going to click change. It shortened everything up. And then I'm going to zoom in a little bit here. And at the start of our clip, because I'm moving forward, we need to move backward in the dolly zoom. So I'm going to go to the start of my clip and select it. And the center of the frame is right about here. Maybe we'll start on that car. So I'm only going to zoom in to about four, four times, and then I'm going to make sure I can get that car centered. And then we can go to seven. And this way you don't lose track of where you want to start your frame, but we've got it right there. And let's go all the way to nine. So I clicked in there, type nine, tab out, and then we can bump this up and over. We're going to create a keyframe and then we're going to come to four seconds over. So shift right, one, two, three, four. And I just realized the keyframe might be confusing. So we're going to click on media pool, but we're four seconds into this clip and it looks kind of weird, right? Well, we've already created our starting keyframe. So I'm just going to double click on zoom and position. And now it's created another keyframe. Now, when we play this back, it's sped up and it's, zoop. it does work a little bit better if your footage is more locked off. So if you've got a clip that, isn't moving around. This one was on my helmet, but you still get the effect. You still understand, right? Poop the like button. Let's fix that and make it smoother now. So again, we're going to click on keyframes. It automatically brings up the last screen that we showed and I can click an empty space, control A, hit my button to smooth them out and then watch as I play this back. It's going to... See how everything just stretches all over the place? That's pretty cool, right? So we zoomed in, we zoomed out. We did a fake dolly zoom. We used dynamic zoom. Lots of cool zooms, right? Did you enjoy the video? Hey, boop the like button. Let me know down in the comments below if you liked the video, what you learned from it. And if you have any questions about DaVinci Resolve, leave, leave those in the comments section as well. Anyway, thank you very much for watching. I do hope you got something out of it. Until next time, go get something out of this video and I'll see you there. John out.